kids. Hi, Snoopy. Nobody ever calls me Sugar Lips. <laughs> Thank you. 
person. You're crabby with just about everyone you meet. I know your crabbiness has probably become so natural to you with now that you don't even realize when you're being crabby, but it's true just the same. You're a very crabby person. Now, I hope you don't mind my saying this, Lucy, and I hope you'll take it in the spirit that it's meant. I think we should all be open to any opportunity to learn more about ourselves. I think Socrates was very right when he said that one of the first rules for anyone in life is know thyself. Well, I guess I've said about enough. I hope I haven't offended you or anything. Not 
built on honest answers. It's like a house built on a foundation of sand. I promise I'm not going to slow you. Now, what would you rate it if you could do that? 95. <laughs> it's a woman's prerogative to change your mind. Now, I have these two columns, and that gives me my answer. There it is. All done. Now, let's see what we've got. It's true. I'm a crabby person. It's a wonder anyone will still talk to me. It's a wonder I have friends at all, or even associates. I've done nothing but breed unhappiness and resentment. I've done nothing but make life miserable for everyone. How can I be so selfish? How can I do this to you? Don't talk to me, Lyons. I don't deserve to be talked to. I don't deserve to breathe the air I breathe. I'm no good, Linus. I'm no good. That's not true, Lucy. Yes, it is. I'm no good, and there's no reason why I should continue living on the face of this earth. Yes, there is. Name one. Give me one reason why I should continue living on the face of this planet. Well, for one thing, you have a little brother who loves you. <laughs> Every now and then I say the right thing. <laughs> Stare at them like this. 
enough for little brother, so she's teaching me. Boy, is she intelligent. Come along, Linus. Thank you. 